Yo hello what's up everyone my name is Biloris and I'm back with a new video. In this video I will explain how you can get 1 to 99 fletching in no time. So before you start fletching you will need a knife. This item can be found in different locations all over RuneScape. At level 1 first you are going to make arrow shafts. Only thing you will need for this are normal locks and the knife of course. You will do that until level 5 and at level 5 fletching you are going to make short bows unstrung which also require normal locks. You will do that until level 10 because then you can make long bows unstrung. At level 25 fletching you will move on to oak long bows unstrung and these are made with oak locks. You will do this until level 40 fletching because now you can make willow longbows unstrung until level 55. Alright, now that you have 55 fletching you sell every single item that we made before in the general store. Except the arrow shaft, since those are always useful to have. At level 55 fletching you will make maple longbows. This time you will string them, so the items needed are maple logs and bowstrings. You can make bowstrings yourself by spinning flax on, in Lumbridge for example, but you can also buy them from other players. You can sell these bows to other players or I high elk them for magic experience. At level 70 you are gonna make you longbows. You will also string those. You can also high elk them or sell them to other players. And when you reach level 85 fletching you will make magic longbows until level 99. It's highly recommended to sell those to other players. But if you want to you can also elk them. Alright guys so now it's time for the bonus method. At level 54 you can also make mithril bolts. You will need mithril bolts unfinished and feathers for this method. This method can make you 400 till 500k an hour experience. Which is great. But you don't make any profit by this method and it's not afk at all. Also at level 52 you can make broad arrows. Those give you over 500k xp an hour. But you have to buy the required items from slayer masters, masters and these arrows can be traded or sold. So you lose lots of money. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this method. If you did so, please leave a little thumbs up and a comment, that's always appreciated. Next guide will probably be cooking or strand, since these are two other 99s I got. So anyways, I see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys learned something new. Good luck with 99 fletching and bye.